Yeah, that's the legendary Asian breakfast. That's jok. Basically, it's a, it's a rice soup and it's usually got like chicken inside it and then splashings of coriander, ginger, garlic and the rest of it. Um, I love it, I really love it. So you know, it's, my, it's my Asian porridge. <laughs> that's what it is. Um, this is a little story about us moving into a house which we just bought in Thailand and it's not really there for the, for the open web. It's only there for like close friends family and people who are interested so if you're looking for information about moving to Thailand and how much it's going to be and the prices and the cost of this and all that you know, you're not going to get any information from me so you might as well turn off the video now well there you go that is the arrival of the dim sums and um, I've just done a quick count there's 26 baskets on the table so 26 divided by 3 is a lot of food so without further ado see you later uh, hi guys we just arrived at the land registry office in in Hatia and it's a bomb site, it's a complete bomb site. Let's take a look around. The girls are doing the paperwork, which I'm happy about. Uh, it's packed, it's absolutely packed. I don't really know what they're doing. Most of the people, they can't be buying houses. It's gonna be like land transfers and, and all that kind of stuff going on. And the system, don't really understand the system. There's just a lot of women squabbling, that's all. Well, we did it. We finally did it. We are now proud house owners in Hatiai, in the south of Thailand. If it wasn't for Giff, it would never have been possible. Huh? That is Congratulations, you are officially a house Thank you owner. So much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the obligatory photo sessions are going on now. You know, in Thailand, it's not just weddings and funerals where they take photographs, it's every single opportunity. You've got to line up the camera, and that's the process we're in at the moment. Can't go home until we're back. Say, say hello, Gabe. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Never have been possible without you. Here we are in the office, and we're still going to sign one or two bits of paper just to make it officially now. And it's quite interesting. There's um, they've, they've got models of the model houses here. Let's have a look at them. Some really cool houses on display here. See if you can guess which one's ours. Where's Indy? This is ours, Indy. Mosquitoes everywhere because the doors are open. Um, yesterday was the signing, passing over the keys and photographs and, and flowers and all that stuff. And today we're expecting the first delivery of furniture from, uh, from Bangkok. And according to the tracking um, app, they, they left Bangkok yesterday at about 10 30 in, in the evening time. Usually it's about 15 hours. Road trip from Bangkok down to the south, obviously with uh, 27 cartons on board. Over half a ton of material, cargo, and God knows how many, how many square meters each is going to take a little bit longer. hanging around 
if you ever need me in the backyard, sitting on the step, in the shade, away from the sun, probably on my phone, God knows why. So, yeah, this, there's been an issue with the, uh, with the internet where the fiber cable has not been initially laid by, by the owner. So they're coming in on Tuesday for the cable and then true installation team will, will come and sort that out which is probably not a bad, a bad idea because I haven't got a TV yet um, but I can probably get I will definitely get a TV built by next Tuesday so until then I'll just sit here in my dingy little corner and hopefully nobody disturbs me I can just sit here and sweat <laughs> has arrived so we're having um, in the living area we've got a massive big air condition being installed and then bedroom one which is ours and bedroom two uh, <clears throat> another one so let's take a look around and see the beginning of the build where are they not just about uh, climbing up ladders and sticking holes in the wall, it's about um, installations, pulling major cables from the main road, uh, coming through the roof at some point, or through the ceiling, sorry, at some point, and hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have air conditioning in the house. And solution number two has just arrived, where the guys with the uh, fiber cable is it the fiber cable? No, not the fiber cable. It's the guys that's going to install the router for the internet to allow the fiber cable to come in. Or the other way around. I don't know. Matthew, help me. Uh, yeah. When that's done, the guys from True will be able to come and install the, the router. And the, no, the, the router's going to be there. <laughs> going to install the, the internet, the box, TV box. guy in the living room there is doing an extremely good job of installing the aircom inside and then on the outside of the back it's going to be connected yeah and then air conditioning they've got two more to do uh, hopefully I would say that hopefully in like the next in the next hour or so we've got air conditioning in the living room. So look. Yeah, we can we can basically put this down as a progress report and let's have a look around and see how far we are. Um, things are looking good, I have to say. Things are looking very good. Uh, we can say that we've got internet, we've got air conditioning. We've got radio, we've got the Sonos working, we've got Alexa working, we've got the Dyson working, we've got um, TV working, we've got Netflix installed, we've got it updated. So, oh yeah, we got the curtains coming today. 
We've got the lady coming to install the curtains and, and we'll take a look at that um, as, it, as it happens actually. The curtains crew have arrived, um, about four of them, five of them or whatever. And obviously uh, the lady wants to iron the curtains before she puts them up. Well, when I say obviously, you know, I think that's, uh, I think that's very professional of them. And we've, we've, hit another, we've hit another problem. I mean, we're not looking at problems here, we're looking at solutions. Uh, and the solution is to unplug every single appliance in the house, including just everything that we've got, because she's got this enormous, gigantic iron, and it must take, her, take up a shitload of electricity and it's not working it's not charging or it's not working because it's not enough electricity in the house because at the moment we're still um, we're still working with the uh, the company's electricity not our own private we haven't got a meter yet as soon as the meter is installed then it'll be transferred over to us and of course with a higher voltage um, so so these are the problems that we're facing at the moment but Again, we're looking at solutions here and not problems. And the solution was to unplug everything in the house. There's no internet, there's no aircon, there's no music, there's no Alexa, they're all gone. After all that waiting, they've all gone. All kicking off at the moment in the house. We've got curtains on the floor down there, colours, beautiful colours. Yeah, let's take a look around. Take a look around the curtains. Banging on now about progress reports. Um, and today, what's going on today? We're going to have a little house to live in, a little garden house. Uh, it's a Thai styled wooden garden pavilion which is going to go in this, this patio area just at the front of the, uh, the dining room and it's going to look really amazing, really truly amazing and uh, I'm going to call it Old Trafford, I don't care what anyone says Guess what's arrived? Or arriving? I'm 
sitting in there tonight and I'm having my glass of wine as the sun goes down, you know, I'm going to appreciate this moment. <laughs> through to get it here it was absolutely worth it oh. it is the mm. best it is completely oh, the best. Yeah. let's have a little look around and see what it oh. looks like well, uh, you can see there's a there's a wife on the phone uh. surprisingly enough mm. she's not often on the phone uh, the, the and then one 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 beautiful one varnish benches little shelves there for your glass of wine or whatever you want maybe a plate of salad or whatever and then from the from the roof there you can you can imagine sort of uh, baskets hanging down plants air plants preferably and then down on the bottom there, with balcony there, and a little gateway there that opens. Mm. And close that. Close that shut. So we've so got a little gateway. This is the perfect place to have like a plate of pasta in the evening time, or a whopping big salad, or you know, and of course an ice cold glass of wine, or even a glass of beer, you know, a chang. Yeah, as you can see that the kitchen has finally arrived um, late, but nonetheless it has arrived and um, the house is looking an absolute bomb site really. It looks like a cardboard box graveyard, but um, yeah, they're on the job and made a very good impression, first impression, let's hope we can progress and i'm still a little bit skeptical about um there's, there's a still a lot of plumbing work to be done there's a lot of electrical work to be done there's a lot of fitting to be done there's there's granite worktops that have to be fitted and sealed and and and, and all the rest of it and you know it's it, it's a hell of a job you know um but we'll be keeping that right
We're at the final stage now of moving in. Um, it was a hell of a slog. So from day one until day zero, day now, which is basically three weeks since we moved in. Um, but we do have, now we have a kitchen, we have a living room, we have bedrooms, we have curtains, we've got Wi-Fi, we've got air conditioning, we've got um, things which we didn't monitor, um, is heaters on the showers. Uh, we had washing machines uh, delivered, installed, we had fridges delivered and installed. We had all kind of furnishings delivered and installed. So I'm going to show you around my new kitchen, which I'm, I've spent more time in this kitchen in the past 24 hours than any other part of, any other part of the house. So come and enjoy it with me. This is a beautiful kitchen. And it's got the latest technology in fingerprint anti-fingerprinting which means that if you touch any of the any of the cupboards you know it leaves no fingerprint you know it's a marriage saver did like it give us a thumbs up obviously if you didn't like it a bit of a thumbs down at least we know you watched it until the very end so until the next time see you guys have a great weekend have a great weekend